Hey, what's up, everyone? Dominated TX coming at ya. So this game right here is the last challenge I needed, EXP I needed, in order to get Season 5 Level 40 Reward, Dark Matter, Tyler Hero. It's my first Dark Matter, no money spent. We just got him. Crossed 150,000 XP. Rinse and repeat of not using my MT <laughs> to open packs, but buying cards that are uh, that are given XP and then selling them immediately after. One of the things that I do is wait until two days after the cards are released and the EXPs because if you try to do it on day one every hour you're gonna lose value until it stabilizes um, so just keep that in mind I mean you know unless you're in a hurry but no money spent you know just trying to get free cards 99 Dark Matter my first one Tyler Hero so the games that I've been playing, uh, and I'm also trying to get um, Cayman, the 98 overall Galaxy Opal from Triple Threat. Uh, I made a video not that long ago talking about how easy it is, even on Superstar difficulty on Triple Threat, you know, it's really hard because you can't make shots, and then if you use your best cards then you know CPU uses its best cards so I've been grinding with um, uh, Big Country Reeves who I uh, evolved from Sapphire to Amethyst and he's a beast I even put shoes on him to give him extra boost and then uh, AC Green I also uh, was able to upgrade, evolve from, I think he was like, I want to say like maybe a sapphire, I, I, I don't know, maybe a ruby, but he got all the way up to a diamond, and I just absolutely love using him. You know, these two guys are tall, they're just fast enough, it guarantees me that I'm going to get um, mismatches, so I've been using them. You know, and Hero, I, he's he's my best card, no doubt. He makes threes when, you know, I think my best card up until was the Ellis, you know, the 98 free one I got from uh, the Ascension board. But Ellis just doesn't make threes like Hero does. Hero is just, uh, he, he's just really good. And, and, he, and he has some monster dunks, let me tell you. So Hero is a lot of fun, so uh, it was well worth the grind, but you know, I don't, I don't know when exactly how many how many days ago Season 5 started, but I mean look at, I already have him, Zach Levine from Season 4, you know, within like just 8 days of buying the game, I was able to get uh, Levine, so the method is working, you know, you just buy what you need, for EXP and then you sell right away and as you can see I have almost 400,000 but I can tell you when I made this video uh, I, I have I think 420,000 at this point um, I, I saved this videos uh, I think it was yesterday but I've been grinding a little bit more since and I'm up to 420,000 uh, EXP I mean uh, MT so I could buy a dark matter and have two but I, I'm gonna tell you there's no point in doing that because dark matter prices are gonna drop you know maybe by next Friday we could have one that's even below hundred thousand who knows just depends on what 2k does you know, releasing more dark matters which they will maybe they do a Tuesday which means by next Friday with even more dark matter we could see uh, Dwayne Wade dark matter Oscar, maybe both sub 100,000, who knows, but it's more important to me that I have enough MT to buy and sell 
for EXP. Because season six, I mean, who knows what you're going to get. Maybe you get whatever the top prize is and a dark medal on the way. Um, at the end of the day, you kind of have to ask yourself, why do you play this game? If you play this game for online, then yeah, you're probably going to have to pay to play, buy VC, buy MT. But, I mean, look at this. These are not the best cards. Um, you know, I was running with uh, <laughs> three evolution cards into a hero, and it's a lot of fun. It's not frustrating, and I've had I have tons of MT saved. Okay, so there you go. Real easy to win using low cards. You don't need you don't need high cards. All right, peace out. Talk to you later.